South Africa on Tuesday unveiled plans to add 2,500 megawatts of new nuclear generation. The first of the new units will probably come on stream in 2032 or 2033, according to the Energy Ministry. I think the case is compelling. Part of the reasons why we are here with regards to uh, the energy crisis is that the uh, a generation can meet demand and therefore you need to have a additional generation capacity because we make the point all the time that the, the ESCOM fleet is aging and uh, we need additional generation uh, capacity. South Africa's Coburg plant near Cape Town is Africa's only nuclear power station. In a bid to extend the life of the plant by 20 years, one unit was closed for nearly a year and the second was shut down so for maintenance this week. That we are able to get uh, that additional 2,500 uh, megawatts of nuclear uh, capacity uh, to ensure that we are able to meet the issues of uh, national security and energy sovereignty. So this is a significant milestone because we know that uh, uh, historically in the recent past the process was uh, mired in controversy. Now we are happy that uh, we have been able to iron out the issues related to how the procurement process uh, uh, needs to unfold. Rotating power cuts of up to 12 hours a day over the past 15 years have badly hit the South African economy and the government's reputation as it heads into an election next year. The government says it has already asked different vendors for proposals for the new nuclear generation.